Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been waiting for a long time to do a review on this particular Zealous watch um, that I actually, I got this back in January, you know, that first week of, of you know, of the year. And <laughs> some very unfortunate events happened to me, um, uh, which prevented me from finding the strength uh, and, and really the time to, to sit down and shoot this video. But I think I was one of the first people to actually receive this watch. And sadly, it just, you know, I couldn't get it out there for you. Anyways, uh, I guess <laughs> better late than never. Um, and I believe there's a few videos, obviously, on this limited production model um, out there already. Um so I'll try to do my best today to present a different take on this watch. Um, and just as a reminder, if you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing. Give this a like as well. It means a lot to me. Um, before we move forward, wrist check. I'm wearing my Laco Valencia. Beautiful watch. Um, I, I try to wear it as much as I can, obviously, but have too many now, <laughs> but I, I love this one. Uh, this is the the uh, the fully loom dial as well. So, and it hacks. <laughs> All right, let's get with the unboxing and review of this beauty. So, in a classic Zelos fashion, we have the wooden box with the sleeve, which this time is bigger. I mean, if you look at it, this I'm barely barely touching this, and it's coming out right. So that's cool, you know, makes it a little bit easier. Um, I'm gonna put this on the side here. All right, so um, yeah, we also gonna have the watch row, uh, which by the way, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Elshan is going to discontinue this type of rows um, and he has a new one, uh, which I saw on Facebook you know, as part, I'm, I'm part of the Timekeepers um, fan group there. And um, they looked very, very nice. Uh, so I'm going to have to buy one of the new models now so I can just get the new row, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, I present to you. Well, I guess I don't present to you yet. Let's um, kind of get this out of here. I do like this uh, watch rolls though. I mean, I never use them, but I like them. All right, let's see. All right, so you're gonna have your little um, warranty card, which is pretty cool. Let's see what number I got. Ooh, I got 110, and there's only 150 of these. All right, so 110 checking in. And there you go. I present to you the um, the Zelos Black Tip 41 mil in crimson red. Of course, it was upside down. Classic. All right. So this is brand new. Obviously, as I said, it's just been sitting here um, at my place, and I never touched it. So. Let me go ahead and take all this plastic off and I'll be right back so we can check this out together. All right, now that I got rid of all the plastic, um, yeah, this is a beauty. I mean, wow. I need to go outside and take some, um, take some outside photos, I guess, just so we can check out this dial, but um, yeah. It's got this sunburst effect. I mean, this is beautiful. Um, yeah. <laughs> and this bracelet is very, very comfortable. Um, I cheated a little bit. I tried it for a second, but uh, it's awesome. Yeah. All right, so let's get the specs out of the way first. So we have this red fume um, dial, um, also known as the crimson black tip um, and this is a ceramic bezel okay oh well the, the sorry the insert so some come with uh what was the other option a 
I'm thinking, hold on. Oh my God, this is so nice. The bezel action on all of the uh, Zellos watches is, is amazing. Yeah, lines up perfectly. Um, yeah, as far as the, um, um, the bezel options, you would have, hold on, I gotta look that up. You would have ceramic or sapphire, okay? Uh, this one's got the ceramic bezel insert. All right, so just a little bit of history um, where the inspiration came for this watch. I believe um, this is a, I guess that's Zellos version of um, the popular skin diver um, style of, of watch. And that was popular back in the 60s. So, um, and those were very, very, um, you know, um, you know, very popular back then for, you know, with, you know, for diving and whatnot. Um, I was never a fan of those. I've seen them, um, not a huge fan of it, but this is more of a modern look and I dig it a lot. All right, as far as the rest of the specs, um, obviously this is the 41 mil dial. Um, it is 20 millimeters lug, uh, lug width and you have 47.5 um, lug to lug, all right? And then it is 11.5 thick, although I guess, okay, so that's, it's 11.5 without the crystal. So with the crystal, I measure that at about 12, okay? So um, very thin overall. I mean, this is, this is using the uh, Miata 9015, that's why. Uh, you have a signed crown with loom. You have a sapphire crystal, obviously. Um, and this is the 316L uh, stainless steel with the quick adjust. Um, you have the, where's the quick adjust? Yeah, so you have um, a little bit of the quick adjust there and more importantly, now we have the quick release spring bars. Okay, so this thing's right here. So you can take this bracelet off, put um, put a nice brown letter one if you wanted to, whatever. I'm not a bracelet guy. If you follow me in my videos, you know I'm not a bracelet guy. But this bracelet is very, very nice. It's actually kind of soft. <laughs> And um, I think this is gonna sit very well on, on my wrist specifically. I have a six and a half inch wrist. Um, and it, it's it's sort of a small, you know, it's a small bracelet. So I think I'm gonna leave this watch on this, although I might experiment just because it's so easy to um, to take it off now with this. Um, so this, this makes a ton of difference. I mean, good job, Alshon, <laughs> for adding that. That's, that's awesome. Right, so let's take a closer look at the dial. Uh, I know that's kind of the main thing of this watch. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's phenomenal. Um, let's play around with it. See if I can do it without the reflection. Yeah, so depending on the angle, it's going to look a little darker. But then if you hit it just right there, you get a, you get a lot of red. Yeah, that's just beautiful. Um, polished around very nice all right so there's the back so one interesting thing is the um, the shark on this one is actually it's so soft compared to the Mako um, you know this finishing is absolutely amazing I mean if we have this type of finishing on the Mako's back. Um, I mean, it's asking too much probably, but it's not really a big deal. But this is awesome because I know some people were um, saying that their, their wrists are getting scratched or whatever. Um, and so this will be the solution. I mean, this is awesome. So what do we have there? We got 110. Yeah, this is awesome. Just the rest of the bracelet.
Um, as far as the, the bezel, somebody asked me earlier, you know, uh, is it is it hard to, I guess, to see the numbers and read it? It is not um, as far as you're outside, um, you know, in the natural light looking at it. Um, if you're indoors, you know, it's a little bit harder, but you probably never look at this anyways. It doesn't matter. Um, I like the black and red combination. Um, so, yeah, no, I think it's awesome. No complaints there whatsoever. All right, so next, let's check out the loom on this thing. I mean, it's, yeah, the loom is amazing on this thing. Um, so, yeah, let's see it in action. Yeah. I mean, there you go. And you got the crown. I mean, it is, it's awesome. It is absolutely done to perfection. Um, and I really like the combination of, uh, you know, the, I think it's a C3 MBGW9 um, loom. It is great. Yeah. You have that diamond sweeping there. That's awesome. All right, one more thing I wanna do is a quick um, sort of a wrist shot with this or, you know, just to see how it looks on my six and a half inch wrist. So this is not sized yet. Um, I'm gonna to have to do that at some point, but um, there you go. So this is how it looks on my six and a half inch wrist. Um, it sits great, it feels great. That bracelet is amazing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the deal here. All right, guys, so final thoughts. My final thoughts are I love this watch. I think, you know, it's going to be a keeper. Um, let me know what you think about this model. Obviously, this is long sold out, and it is just another home run by Alshon and Zelos. I think we're very fortunate to have a brand um, like Zelos in the micro brown world. You know, I guess still in the micro brand world, but who knows for how long. I mean, you know, he's doing home run after home run. And, you know, while while they're keeping the prices very fair, um, I, I think this watch is a keeper. I don't see myself parting with it. Um, and, you know, but I mean, what do you guys think? What do you, what do you like about this model particularly? Um, besides the dial, I mean... Yes, I guess the dial was the big the big difference compared to the other ones. But you I I personally also like the white one. Um I think the white one, it's like a frost one or something, is absolutely amazing too. I just needed a red one because I don't have a red watch. Uh but if I already had a red one, I would have picked up that white dial one. I mean that one with the orange is absolutely amazing. Um anyways, let me know in the comments below and please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.